Hello, for this video, we're going to discuss how to query time for most employees. This is not a manager level activity. This is an individual employee activity. And most employees will have permissions to only see themselves in this list. So if you were to click on a person other than yourself, then you would not be able to access that person's employee area. So for this example, we're going to use the sample employee. And here we are in this. And also most employees won't have access to these particular buttons. You'll see the buttons, but you won't be able to press the buttons. But you will be able to press your hours. So if you click the hours button, it'll drop down this hours dialog box here. And you're going to just enter a date range that you want to query. And this is often done for payroll purposes. Some clinics and businesses require that their employees query their own hours and make sure they're correct. And if they're incorrect, they're to reach out a couple days before the payroll is due to be processed and let the manager know that there's something incorrect. Now, some employees have the ability to edit their own time based on the policies of the business. So if you do have the ability to edit time, you'll see this little green edit time button. And you can see here, this was an example, clock in and clock out. It's not very much time there. But if you wanted to edit this time, then you can simply go here. Let's just say they left at 1.30 but you came in at 8 uh, a.m. So we're gonna go there, we're gonna backspace, and we'll put zeros. And when you edit time, it does have to be in this exact format because that's how the computer recognizes it. So we're gonna go A, M, and as soon as we tab, you'll see all these numbers change. And there's no break time. If you wanted to put a break time in there, say there was an hour break, then you're gonna backspace, one hour, and then when you tab, you're gonna see this change to 4.51, 4.51. So that is how you edit time if you have edit capability. If you do not have edit capability, then you would simply reach out to your manager or supervisor and let them know that you need to change a time and they will go in and they can edit this time. Now, if you wanted to send the hours, it's very simple. You just enter an email so you can enter it time and maybe the name sample and then the date range and then you send that and those hours are sent timesheet sent right up here so that is how you query time that's how you edit time for most employees if you have edit capability and you can also send those hours to whoever you need to send it to there are different workflows for different businesses some businesses the managers will go in and just query the time themselves some businesses require the employees to send their time to whoever does the payroll so it just depends on how your business is set up and how the payroll personnel want to see your time or, or get your time if you have any questions, reach out to us via the help button or email us at support at officeautomated.com.